Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Mailbag. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors and today's question comes in from a BJO and he says, what if you are short of your 30 years and you are at uh, your retirement age of 67, let's say you have 28 years of service but are but are you at your retirement age of 67, right? So the answer is yes, right? Your full retirement age, is, in this case, would be 67. So there would be no reductions on your tier one, okay? Because if you retired before your full retirement age, there would be reductions. Now your tier two is gonna be made up of 28 years of service, all right? So that doesn't really have to get to 30 years. So whatever uh, the years of service, that's gonna be your tier two. Um, now remember also, if you go past your full retirement age, your tier one increases 8% every year, and your tier two, you'll keep adding those railroad years on. So it could be 29 years or 30 years. Check out my video, Not Making Your 30 Years for Railroad Retirement, and that will talk about what happens if you leave uh, before your full retirement age. All right, um, so I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Send in your questions. I'll shoot a video on your, uh, on your questions. And until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.